All right, this is Chuck with CyberSmart, and what a crazy day today. Comcast Internet was going out, and Cam Studio crashed, and Audacity wasn't working, and everything's going wrong today, huh? But it's all good, it's all good. I got another tutorial video here, this time on Audacity, and this is what I do my podcast with, and many people do, and it's free, and it works fairly well, and I like it. So here's how you use it. This is the basic functions. There's a lot of things you can do with this. Up here you have your basic controls just like most things and if you click that it starts to record and you can see it recording your voice one two three this is a great voice this is a cool voice it's the best voice one two three okay that gives you your voice you click this it'll go back to the start and you can play you it back that, it starts to record and you can see it recording your voice one, two, three. This is a great voice. This is a cool... Man, that voice is cool. It's too cool. Okay. So that's how you get your voice in there. You just hit that and you start recording. Now there's a bunch of other things you can do here. What I like about podcasting is you get to do a lot of editing. For example, you notice there's a, a big gap here. Well, if you just highlight that and click delete, it's gone. If you make a mistake, you just click on refresh and it refresh. Some of these other tools up here, you got, this is a time shift tool to move your tracks back and forth. This is a magnifying glass, so you can really get in to do some editing in there. Okay, let's uh, make it the way it was. Those are the basic three that I use, those three right there. And we'll move this to the beginning where it's supposed to be. Okay, and that's that track, and that's how you get your voice in. I have an intro. Here's how you bring projects in. Up here, projects, import an audio, and it'll take you to your files. You'll be able to browse around, and then you can open it, and then you can import it. And this is an, this is an audio intro that I have. This is where the time tool, shifting tool, comes in, so you can move these around. You want that to come in right about there, right? Let's give that a listen and see what happens. Woo, we're rocking and rolling. Woo -hoo -hoo. You click that, it starts to record. And you can see it recording your voice. One, two, three. Okay, so now we got two tracks in there. Let's go back to the beginning here. I'm just going to move this over because I want to show a different, a different tool. Now, when you listen to this, you notice, and here's, we need to mute this. Oh, we deleted it. We did more than me. We deleted. No big deal. Now, when we listen to this, you notice that there's a lot of static in the background. Okay, you can hear that hissing. Here's how you get that out. Pick a blank spot that's got noise in it. Go to Effects. Noise Removal. First thing you got to do is get the noise profile. So when you click that, the box disappears and it looks like you have screwed something up, but you haven't. You highlight the whole thing, go back to effect, find the noise removal, and then just click remove noise. Boom, you see it shrink there a little bit. Now let's listen to that the way that is. And you can see Oop. it recording. For some reason it's not, oh. Good grief, Charlie Brown. Back to the beginning. If you click that, it starts to record. And you can see it recording your voice. See how much cleaner One, two, that is? Three. This is a great voice. This is a cool voice. It's the best voice. One, two, three. Okay. So we took all that, that hiss out. Let's say there's some other things in here, basic tools that I like to use. Bass boost. You want some more bass to your voice? You can preview it. You click that, it starts to record, and you can see it recording. That's a little bit too bassy. I got enough bass in my voice, so we'll just cancel it. I just wanted to show you that you can do that. Let's get our uh, intro back in here again so I can show you. All right, there's our intro. There's our voice recording. If you wanted, you could add, I mean, you can add as many tracks as you want. You could put your outro. But when you're all done with that and you got that all taken care of, you have to export it as an MP3. And if you drop down here, you won't see this because like most free software, when you get it, it doesn't work right. <laughs> Isn't that true? Everything comes broken. Um, but it's free, so don't complain. 
but it's so um, you have to get the lame mp3 encoder and I'm not going to show you how to do that because I assume you know how to do a Google search and you'll go right to it make sure you put it in the same folder as you got your as you have your um, um, audacity in okay click that it's going to ask you the name to file we'll call it test we'll call it test e I guess test mp3 oh we'll replace it okay here's where this is going to go into the iTunes directory okay so this is important you want to make sure you got your your SEO here I'm not right now of course because I'm just doing this okay album podcast um, I like to put tags in here actually then you want to select your genre and we're not jazz we're really good voice Man, we got a good voice. We were made for this with our voice. Where is it? Here it is. Speech. Speech. You click OK. It's going to export that sucker. There you go. That is exported it as an MP3 file. You can bring it back in and edit it some more at a later date. Or you can upload that to your PodPress folder if you have a PodPress plugin on your WordPress blog or Podomatic or any of the other services out there. So, despite me being frustrated, we got through this okay. Um, there's a lot more to this. If you got any questions, please, please come to the website, and I, I love to answer questions. Um, and I'll do more tutorial, tutorial videos on this kind of stuff at a later date. Peace, everybody, and stay warm.